Hey, Randy Bear here, and yes, we are in Mayville. The year is 2013, I think, and we're getting ready for the Jack Carlson fourth annual riding lawnmower tractor pull. I'm standing out here on Route 430 trying not to get run over. Um, the gang's lining up across the street there. Uh, we have, I think, way over 100, 100 plus lawnmowers. I've seen uh, four wheelers. Um, we got three horses. So, uh, and the sun is coming out. It's hiding behind the clouds, but it's getting really warm. So, we're going to have a great time here. Um, I'd like to welcome you to Destination Chautauqua County. It's the year 2030. Folks have been returning to the most northern part of Chautauqua Lake. Many arrive by log rafts and many by what used to be Routes 394 or Route 430. One thing they all have in common is they all are riding on lawnmowers and tractors. We need to take you back to 2014. At that time, the government tried to fix the seaweed problem on Lake Chautauqua with a chemical bomb, which had unanticipated negative results. Most of the folks who lived in Chautauqua County at that time didn't survive. A group of rednecks led by Tom 007 were able to survive. After the seaweed took over the land known as Chautauqua County, they were holed up in the basement of the local jail in Mayville where many of them spent uh, quite a bit of time biding their time and surviving on meager rations. But then starting in late July until after the big freeze of the winter of 2014 and 15, the cold weather slowly retarded the, the growth of the massive seaweed mass. And today, these individuals returned to Mayville, New York from as far away as Levant, Ripley, Clymer, Pennsylvania, and so forth, where they were able to find a local John Deere tractor supply store for parts to keep their tractors running. And remember, folks, in those days, there were cars, but today there aren't any, or very few. These folks came, to rem uh, came together to remember the lives and times of one Jack Carlson who often rode his tractor into the Mayville to the American Legion and often would have been giving a helping hand to his fellow neighbor. After all these years, a faithful group of hospice volunteers have attempted to raise funds in his name. Hi, I'm Ron Sellers. I'm president of hospice in Chautauqua County. I'm here at the Mayville VFW uh, for a very unique event. The community gets together and they ride their tractors and ATVs up and down the main street in Mayville to raise money for the hospice mission in Chautauqua County. This is the fourth year the community members have done this and it is an absolute blast as you can tell from my Ron Deere hat. Everyone is in costumes having a great time. The money that they raise goes to support the hospice mission. We're the only, the only hospice in Chautauqua County funded by Medicare, certified by Medicare, and serve on average about 85, 85 people and their families a day who uh, the individuals are approaching the end of their lives and our dedicated staff of about 80, 80 employees and 40 volunteers goes into people's homes and help them achieve the highest quality of life they possibly can and that they desire during the end stages of life. Uh, it's great to be here. This is our community. Our community is terrific, and we love their support, and we love them dearly.
Hey, Ron, I have a question for you. I noticed um, a lot of John Deere tractors parked down here today. Um, are they like, is this year a John Deere run? Are we running like a deer? We're running like a deer, but it's not a John Deere run. I have a club cadet right behind you and a truck that was reassembled in Texas, an old pickup that came up here, but everyone loves their John Deeres, I can tell you that. Oh, yes. I, I dream of one. <laughs> I have to hire to have my lawn done, so, you know, maybe you can fix me up with a John Deere. But um, I'm going to show that hat you have on, and could you uh, tell me exactly where you got that? Uh, the people who, who sponsor this gave it to me today. I walked in, and they said, do you have the guts to wear this hat? And I said, are you kidding me? I'm honored. Deb Presbiora, one of our staff members, made this for me. I heard about it when yeah. I was talking to Tom the other day. He said he had that hat, and I had to show it. So I'm going to give you the mic for a minute. I'll let you talk, and I'm going to get a close-up of that hat. Okay. Uh, people give us things at hospice. And this, this hat, uh, I think it's great. There are people in the background raising their arms saying, go for it. Uh, the hat represents our community to me. People just get real, get normal, do what they do. And they feel about hospice not as something that's elusive or they don't know what it is. We're just people of the community, working with the community, providing care at the end of life. And the hat just says it all. We are the community, and the community is us. Hey, this whole thing started uh, from a very, very good dear friend of ours uh, and, people, and people in Mayville. Um, uh, it, it's just a wonderful event it, for hospice. Uh, it, it's a fun day for everyone involved. Uh, it started years ago with a friend of ours uh, that brought a lawnmower up to the American Legion, and a fellow, was, a couple of us, started talking in here one day and, and, and decided, you know what? They do these uh, 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 motorcycle poker runs. Let's do one. Let's try one with lawnmowers. <laughs> well, look at what it turned into. You know, it's just a fabulous event. Um, I have goosebumps uh, every every time a donation comes in. Uh, it, I just I can't say enough for it. I, I'm elated. I'm happy. So Tom, now last year I didn't make it up here, but I'm hearing you had how many people in this? Uh, 114 registered last year. And how much did you raise? Uh, Forty-seven hundred dollars. That is a lot of money to help. And your wife now, she works for hospice, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, she does. She's a nurse for hospice. She's a nurse. Wow. Um, I've known a lot of people that have used hospice, and um, what a way to, you know, an event like this. I was lucky last week. I did see um, they had a bicycle ride. Yes. And they had over 100 people for that, and um, I was on the Bema Still Ferry when they all rode it. Happy group. I saw people after I left Mayville heading to the Bema Still Ferry that uh, there was a guy standing, I think it was by Chautauqua, just an air pump in case they needed air. <laughs> we had people on the ferry, a couple of our regular ferry riders, and they had water and um, bananas and juice. and. Um, you know, it's the businesses that, that have stepped up and, and helped out with this event. That You know, that, that made it complete. Yeah. Um, every, there's not a business in the village of Mabel that, that has not been involved in this event. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, so John Deere, um, I hear they might be stepping up here a little too. Uh, yes, I hope they do. There's a quite a lot of them out there. Now we're John Deere is um, I know Sam and Matson they're in Climber and Falconer Levant. Yes. We have a mower going by us. <laughs> <laughs> now you got to see the mower I got, Tom. I bought it from an old guy I worked with. Where he got it, I don't know. I think it's a Cub Cadet, but. It's so rigged up, I can't even get it going. So we even have some horses this year. I don't know where they are yet. We got horses. No, I saw a little kid on a little the, the tricycle. Yeah, yeah, the neck cute. Like, oh my gosh! And I remember the first year. Now this, this is the third annual fourth, Jack fourth. fourth? Actually, yeah. Okay, so they're calling the first year, and Jack was in the first year, wasn't yes, he? Yes, he was. Yes, he and was. He got to ride with them, and yes, um, he let us out of here. And it's like. Now look at the people. I mean, it's just gotten so big. Do you got any idea how many people today? Uh, last count, I, I don't know, about 10 minutes ago, there was 110 people here so far registered. Uh, I don't wow. know where it's going to end up. That's a lot of craziness. And we just got to wait now. All the summer people are pretty much gone. Now it's our time to have fun, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So Town's ours again. So we'll see you out there. I'll be the big fat guy trying to chase you <laughs> on the trail. Thank you. Thank you very much, Randy.
Hi, welcome to the ride. Oh, thank you. I just got a question. Yeah. Whoops. How many uh, horsepower are you running with? You don't like the... One horsepower lawnmowers. One horsepower, and they do mow lawn, don't they? Yeah, hey, I'm standing here with um <laughs> this guy here. This guy here. And this? Lisa. They, uh, Lisa. Okay. <laughs> And uh, most of the time you'll see this guy driving a big old Pepsi truck around. Yes, sir. But uh, what are you driving today? I am driving a 1980-something uh, Craftsman. We also have the 1965 wheel, wheel horse Long Ranger we're going to be getting out here and doing some wheelies with. So oh, that i got to get. You want to pay attention. Now, uh, we'll get them over here. we got some plans for you guys on the trail now. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. So uh -oh. What are we I up to? Stop, you got to get off. Uh -oh. um, we got to get up and dance and stuff? Or? Pretty much. So, uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to get some insanity here, and uh, I know uh, I got the perfect person here. We're insane, so, you know, <laughs> we can do insane. And I thought your little brother was coming with. No, he had to work today. Yep. Oh, oh, man. Hands. So, uh, you, do, you deliver him, he uh, takes him back. Yep, yep. <laughs> I bring him full, he takes him empty. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this guy coming here is Tom. Yeah! <laughs> hey. Tom and his wife. This one's my favorite guy here. <laughs> Get to know everybody in this parade. Guy looks familiar. <laughs> This guy here. See a Miami Dolphins fan? Oh, he's a shark. Oh, little accident here. Okay, let's have a Pepsi.
bail. Now oh, here, here's a different kind of lawnmower coming here. This is just getting phenomenal. Look at this truck. It's a Dodge. I'm telling you. Oh, you guys have uh, heard of the past. We're back in the Wild West coming up here. Uh, starting with the old car, but right behind the old truck here, I mean, we'll uh, be the Lone Ranger in Tano. And uh, one of the casts from Gunsmoke. I hope they don't decide to use me for a throne. <laughs> Even a little dog likes this one. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the weather is perfect today. Oh, this guy here now. This guy here, he's, he's crazy. That's my buddy Matt. Uh-oh. This guy means business here. <laughs> Got balloons. <laughs> Man, oh man, talk about a 4th of July parade. This is like, this is awesome. We got better weather today than you get on the 4th. We don't have any rain. Can you believe there's that many kinds of vehicles just to mow your lawn? What happened to the old days with just a little uh, push like the Amish use? These guys got crash helmets on here. They're they're ready. <laughs> oh, now look what we got coming here. It looks like a little dune buggy. Woo! Woo! <laughs> a little Gatorade there. Um, drinking's not permitted while you're on the course, so. <laughs> And they, mowers, I keep looking and they just keep coming. This is awesome. If you've never been here, you can donate to hospice by going on the internet to hospice Chautauqua County. These people are going to go mow some lawns, play some golf, and um, a little western with the horses. You know what? We are just about coming to an end with the leaving the parking lot. The fun's just beginning. They're already down to the house on the hill, the lake view. Uh, I mean, they're just everywhere. So far, I think I've only seen one with a crash helmet. Now we're backing up the traffic here, so. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. One of the stops and sponsors of this run is the Lakeview Hotel and Restaurant at the Docks. You can see a, one of the groups here enjoying themselves. Um, not sure where all the lawnmowers are parked though. Yeah, I guess I go looking.
Usually right here you would see uh, snowmobiles, bicycles riding. Um, but today it's lawnmowers and all other kind of vehicles that just don't get out in the winter time. All right, we're here at the Lawnmower Poker Run. I don't know what the hell year it is, but I'm Dan Porter, and this is Mike. And we're going to do a lawnmower race and just pay attention, and we'll uh, see what happens. All right, he's on yeah. four wheels. I'm on two. As our contestants line up here, something's out right here, but uh, hang on, folks. And it's goodbye to talk with Sweets, and we want to thank them for being a sponsor. It's off to the BFW. I hope none of them got hay fever because there's sure a lot of goldenrod right there that they're uh, going through right now. Looks like we got a second bunch going here from uh, the Chautauqua Suites. You see, the, this guy's got a little toe job there. So you can go on anything, even if it doesn't run. Crazy men themselves. And there he goes, and he's, oh, that was a short one. Uh-oh, I think I'm going to get a visitor. We got a big bad boogie baby of that. This is one of the baddest ever. Everybody is working together to be something. And that's what we need to do. The whole world needs to start doing this. Thank you very much. Bye. So now we've heard of uh, guard dogs, but um, look how they're uh, guarding this John Deere tractor. They got three horses tied to it. The one looking at me there, the yeah, just turning there. He, he's saying like, what the heck are you doing? He's saying, man, they get to go in and party and party and have a ball, and we're stuck here tied to a lawnmower. This guy over here uh, closest to me, the dark horse, he's like, he is doing his job. He is mowing the lawn today. The one in the back, um, just looking. You know, Come on, I want to get going. I got a date tonight. When all those mowers started, the horses didn't flinch. 
Um, she did a little bit. These two are really, really good. She's a little bit more squirrely, but she's kind of gotten used to it now, and so she's doing really good. So I mean, I, I jumped, and they just stayed <laughs> tied up. Everybody has, like, guard dogs, but you guys uh, have yeah, horses to guard um, your tractor. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun. That's good. That's what it's for. So. We're a little slower than everybody else, but hey, it takes us longer to untie. It takes me longer that. to get all this equipment in the car and get to point B. Sure. <laughs> sure. Good. We're, we're other slow people. We like that. <laughs> well, thank you. So, Tom, are you having fun? I have, I haven't had this much fun since since the hogs ate my kid's sister back on the farm. I'll just wait till you pull that out tonight. Ow! Well, actually, it hasn't hurt anything yet. Um, but I don't want to pull out because I don't want to bleed to death. <laughs> so, where did you get this hat? I made it. You made it? Yes, I did. Flamingo, huh? Yeah, my husband helped me, but I, yeah, it was my creation. You're good. <laughs> No, I had a couple weeks to do it because normally we're now out of town. We should but. stand out in the crowd. <laughs> I do. I, I'm taller than I ever have been before. <laughs> he needs that right there. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> if you need a hat like that, it makes you taller. Yeah. Hey, I'll you guys. I get to pick at him. God can only make so many per people perfect. Thank you. Everybody else, he made tall. Thanks. We, we like to wrap our stuff up. So where are you guys from? Uh, Fruitburg, Gainesville. Oh my gosh. That's a long ways away. Uh, we, we brought our golf cart here. We didn't drive a tractor, but we brought a golf cart because we wanted to participate. Well, thank you. It's a lot of people. That's a lot of fun. It's nice being here. My first time. I'm a virgin at this. And, and you'll be here next year, correct? We will be. One of these years, this is my third out of four years coming and interviewing next year I got a ride in it. I don't care what I ride, I'll bring my bicycle. Oh, it's, a, it's a great show. We I didn't see any bicycles. I seen everything else. I saw a car or a truck. I've been laughing my ass off all day. <laughs> Sometimes it makes me a little cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, thanks for joining in. Thank you. This is Brenda and I'm Scott. Hey guys.